from 3D printers and CNC machines that require exact positioning to create parts and gadgets, to conveyor belts and pick and place systems that need precise movements to get products from one place to another, stepper motors can be the driving force behind that precision. Today, let's explore stepper motors and their role in industrial automation. A stepper motor is a type of DC motor that moves in fixed, precise steps, and unlike many other motors, it doesn't require a position sensor to hold its place, as long as it's properly sized for the job. Stepper motors use two types of control. Open loop control is when the motor is commanded to run by a drive, but its position or speed isn't monitored. There's no feedback, just instruction. Closed loop control adds a sensing device, usually an encoder on the motor, feeding real-time data back to the controller. This allows for more precise control over speed and position. Closed loop systems typically are quieter, smoother, and generate less heat. Open loop is perfect for simpler tasks that don't require position verification. But for high accuracy applications like robotics, printing, or CNC machining, closed loop control is the way to go. So how does the stepper motor work? It moves by energizing different windings inside the motor in a specific sequence. A stepper drive sends the high power DC pulses needed to make it happen. Each pulse causes a step of motion. There are two main types of two-phase stepper motors, unipolar and bipolar. Unipolar motors are great for hobby projects, but industrial applications almost always use bipolar motors. They're more efficient and provide higher torque for their size and typically require 200 full steps to complete one revolution. Most stepper motors are 1.8 degree motors. 360 degrees over 200 full steps equals 1.8 degrees per step. Micro-stepping can increase resolution dramatically. Half step, which is 400 unique positions per revolution. Quarter step, which is 800 steps per revolution. Even 50,000 steps per revolution is possible with modern stepper drives. Now remember, a stepper system isn't just the motor. You also need a stepper drive, a power supply, usually 12 to 80 volts DC, and a motion controller, like a PLC. The drive receives low power signals from the controller and converts them into movement. In a standard pulse direction control system, one signal tells the motor which direction to spin. The other sends a pulse for each step or micro step. But here's the catch. If you're micro-stepping at 50,000 steps per revolution and want 300 RPM, the controller must send 250,000 pulses per second. That's fast, but you can always lower the resolution if your controller can't keep up. Most systems begin with a homing sequence to define the starting position. After that, digital sensors can verify position during each cycle, especially helpful if unexpected loads cause the motor to skip steps. Stepper motors can spin over 1,500 RPM, but torque drops as speed increases. That's why most applications operate in the 0 to 1,000 RPM range, the sweet spot for performance. Want more torque at higher speeds? Feed your drive the highest voltage it can handle. If it accepts 24 to 80 volts DC, using 80 volts will allow your motor to output more torque at higher speeds than it would at 24 volts. And we make it easy. All our stepper motors have been tested with torque and speed curves documented at various voltages and speeds. Need fast, accurate movement? Make sure the load inertia isn't too much larger than the rotor inertia. Keep the ratio under 10 to 1, or even better, 1 to 1, for the best dynamic response. Our documentation has all the details. Automation Direct offers stepper motors in NEMA 14, 17, 23, 24, 34, and 42 sizes, with power options to fit many applications. Choose single or dual shaft models, depending on your encoder needs. Or get a motor with an integrated encoder for feedback-ready applications. All motors come with pre-wired leads or connectorized cables for fast installation and easy replacement. Need more torque or better inertia matching? Add a planetary gearbox. Automation Direct offers gearboxes and ratios from 5 to 1 to 100 to 1 with low backlash and zero maintenance for up to 20,000 hours of service. Gearboxes reduce the reflected inertia of the load and can significantly improve performance. Just keep in mind that they are a speed reducer and you won't get the full torque ratio due to the increased stepper speed. That's where a higher supply voltage to the stepper helps again. From precise motion to reliable torque, 
Stepper motors are the go-to solution for cost-effective, dependable positioning. For more on stepper motors, drives, and gearboxes, visit us today at AutomationDirect.com. Click here to learn more about our motors and drives. Click here for more videos.